Hello, this is Bites again. Welcome, welcome back. As you can see, I'm in a lovely village. I love it so much. It's the one we found in the last episode, and I've been a little busy. Um, like mining, I know you guys are going to be insanely bored watching me. So I spent a couple of Minecraft days, if you will, just cutting down trees, growing trees, cutting down more trees, and growing even more trees. It was so annoying. Um, but uh, I have something to show for my progress. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. You're being rude. Um, oh, this isn't it. Still trying to figure out where the heck my house is around here. I kind of made a little temporary house. And, oh gosh, this is embarrassing. Where is it? Where did it go? Where did it go? Look at, look at this is weird too. It's like these two little fancy houses attached to each other. But anyway, over here, I've kind of made myself a nice little temporary home. Put a couple chests in here. Don't ask me why I have two of these. It's, don't even ask. But anyway, as you can see here, I've got a lot of wood, a lot of sticks, and my plan this episode is we've got to secure this this town, and and I, I want to make sure that it's nice and safe for all my villagers, and then I'm gonna build tons and tons of torches so that this is nice and safe for everybody. And then I have to find a place where I want to build my house. I'm thinking it's going to be in this area over here. Um, and I'm thinking of making some kind of grand wooden castle since I can only build out of organic stuff. So maybe we might throw a little bit of wool in there and we'll see. Um, also spent a lot of time killing cows. Big shocker there. Pigs and sheep. Um, I also went exploring just a little bit. And I found maybe a dungeon. If I can see where the heck I, that place was. I think it's over in this area somewhere. Um, but there is there was a lot of moaning and groaning underneath the ground. And I'm really hoping that there's a dungeon there. Yeah, it's kind of over there. I marked it with some wool and some torches. We'll have to go over there in, the, in a future episode. But I'm hoping to find a bucket. Um, because, once again, I can't make any of that stuff. And a bucket will definitely come in useful when I decide to kind of expand these farms. Because with some of these farmers here, uh, they offer some really great trades for, like, wheat and carrots to get emeralds. And I need emeralds if I want to upgrade my armor. And I have been kind of working on getting more emeralds. Um, and I've made my, my special case right here. I don't know why I kept the obsidian. I, I, you know, I found it, I don't know, I'm just can't keep it, but I have nine so far, you can see I've built up a nice little supply of food, got some other little stuff there, I found a saddle, so if we need to ever go um, looking for that, uh, you know, a stronghold, when we finally get to that point, I can find a horse, we'll ride it, we'll go there, off to the sunset, and all that kind of stuff. So, without further ado, let's get started on building um, some fences, so I'm going to plop, not the dirt, but the mud, and I'll start taking this stuff and we are just gonna make tons and tons of fence posts. I was thinking about you know like making some kind of fancy um, you know like big old fence around the whole thing. I even thought about like growing it like planting just tons and tons of trees but then I realized I would literally need hundreds and hundreds of saplings in order to do this and then it would take time to grow and it would just be super annoying. And I am not planning on doing that. So I thought fence posts would be the easiest, quickest way to do things without boring the heck out of you guys. So I started kind of mapping it out because I was thinking, you know, maybe later on I can add. Really, is it becoming night already? No, my goodness. Um, I might add some other buildings here, kind of make this like a super village. Because um, I would like as many villagers as possible because then I got more guys to trade with. And more opportunities to get armor and weapons. I'm really hoping with one, the blacksmiths that I have in here, so far they're only making armor. And I kind of don't like that because I would really, really like them to, you know, maybe at least get like a diamond pickaxe. And I know you're probably thinking, why do you need a diamond pickaxe? You can't mine anything except coal. Um, but I thought if, if anything, that could be a good weapon I could use. It would be better probably than a wooden sword. I don't know, what do you guys think about that? But anyway, let's go to bed here before the googlies come out. Um, and, yeah, when I wake up, I'll start building this fence. 
And I have, did come up with an idea because eventually we are going to need enderpearls. And I've decided I, I have a little contraption I can make that I can basically tick off the endermen. And then they come to me, but then they can't get to me. So I'll, I'll have to show you that. It involves half slabs and some, well, some fence posts. So, all right. So I was thinking about, you know, maybe about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, it's perfect. Yeah. Um, now, the thing is, I want to get this in a way that none of the googlies can actually get to me. And it's so tedious and annoying. So that's why I'm filming it today, so you guys can suffer with me. Um, yeah, all right. And so I was thinking, okay, what else while I'm doing this? I gotta be able to talk to you guys about something. So I was thinking about the new Wonder Woman movie. I have not seen it yet. I would really like to. And if you've seen it, you should really tell me because I, I heard it's phenomenally awesome. We'll just I'll leave that there. And I was thinking about seeing it, but um, I don't know. Leave a, leave a comment or something if you want, telling me, you know, hey, you should really go see Wonder Woman. It's it's fantastic. Oh my gosh, you'd think I never did this before. Um, I bet you I went through about fifteen. I bet I bet you I went through at least fifteen axes. Um, and I did, as you can see, I did break in my my nice iron pick. Um, I found some coal and some caves nearby, and I decided, you know, to, to get it really fast. And it was weird because, you know, being so used to just using wood pickaxes, um, it went so fast. It was like it was like being on vacation. That's what that's what I felt like. I felt like, oh man, I felt spoiled because you know you get so used to using one kind of tool for so long, and then when you actually do use a good tool, and oh man, and I was like, oh, I wish I could do this all the time. So hopefully, you know, once we get if we breed some more, uh, that's going to bug me, if we could breed some more blacksmiths, uh, that would be great. Um, I might have to build one of those good old houses that just have tons of doors or just add some doors. I, I kind of always, whenever I find villages in Minecraft, for some reason I feel very protective about them, like I don't want the villagers to die and I try to like modify their villages so they're more comfortable. I don't know, it's just something kind of weird I do. Um, and through my adventures in playing, I've found some ways to kind of hide uh, doors in some buildings without you actually really seeing it, uh, particularly in the library I found that, that works the best. Um, and so hopefully I'll, I'll get around to doing that, but hopefully in this episode we could get most of this fence, fencing done, um, if I have enough fences, because if I don't, well then I'll be spending quite a few more Minecraft days just, you know, growing trees, killing trees. And repeat, you know, it's just, that's the one frustrating thing. But it's also the fun thing about the organic challenge too is, you know, this is a, not a normal way people do it. And I've always been kind of thinking about, you know, like new ways to, to play Minecraft and that instead of the old, oh, I'm going to try and survive, you know, and blah, 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 that the same old, same old, let me get the best diamond armor. Uh, but in this one, you know, you, you can't make diamond armor. It's just whatever you can get a hold of yourself and uh, through trading. So I think that's kind of fun. Um, I have been thinking of some future challenges also. I think I mentioned in the last episode, uh, there was a challenge I was thinking of that involved, uh, you know, mining for a couple of days. And then after that time, I have to build up and live in the sky. And I'm only allowed to come on the ground like five times. Uh, I've been thinking about, I think it'd be kind of hard, uh, be a good challenge though. Um, also, I have been appreciating you guys leaving comments. And some of you asked me if I could play Minecraft with you. As of right now, I'm going to have to say no. But that doesn't mean in the future I might invite a couple of you on and just be like, hey, you could be a little helpers today. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, but as for right now, no, you're not going to play with me yet. Uh, but I have been really, really thankful for all the like positive comments you guys are leaving and like the support. It's just it makes me feel like, you know, hey, it's kind of cool people are actually enjoying uh, what I have to do, and um, we'll see where this goes, you know, start small and work up to the big stuff, and as you can see, I am hungry, but luckily I have this glorious meat here that I can just, I did have glorious meat, where did I do with that, in here, okay, all right, so yeah, we got tons of steak, we shouldn't, food is just not an issue anymore, I just, I love it, uh, eventually I think I'm going to start a, you know, like a, 
little farm or something. We'll get some sheep or, you know, cows or whatnot. Um, Because I want to, you know, start being able to not have to run and search out cows and all that junk. Um, I just want it to be readily available. Um, Also, I found that these guys, normally I don't give a rip about them. But, I don't know, like, I, I thought about killing them. I know that's horrible to say. Um, but if I could kill them, then I could use, you know, that would free up slots for maybe, you know, blacksmith guys. I feel bad doing that. I don't like killing villagers. But if I need to get a guy that's, you know, going to make me weapons or, you know, tools and that, I think that might be an option. I don't know. Well, if I do it and add enough doors, hopefully that iron golem that will eventually spawn won't to won't come after me and kick my butt because I know he will. Um, actually, we're making pretty good progress on here. Um, I just don't want to, yeah, that little stinker. He snuck by over there before, and I just don't want him to do that again. Um, so, all right, making good time here. And I do have, like, this isn't my main account. Like, I made this for YouTube, but I have another one with a, with a different name. And uh, eventually... Um, because that account I have is the only one that allows me to kind of play online. So right now, because I, I would like to do a few where you know I play you know a multiplayer game, um, and I I don't know. Eventually, you know, I would like to show you guys the the world my, I built with my son, and it's it's really kind of cool actually. We we've, we've built our own little village in between other villages. And we have this really good mine track, and it kind of leads to all these really cool places where we have access to being able to trade with lots and lots of villagers. And um, it's not our spoiled world, though. We have a, a different world, like the first world we ever started. There it is. Um, that we call our spoiled world, and we built so much stuff on that thing. It's it's kind of crazy. Like we built, I, I have mine tracks like connecting most of the villages on that world, and um, at one village, we just kind of went nuts, and we just started building and building and adding on to the village just to try to see how many uh, villages. It was kind of like our big experimentation world, like, I don't know how many diamonds I have in that world, um, which is why we call it the spoiled world, but I don't, I haven't really ever traded with uh, any of the villagers in that world, unlike, you know, this world and my other worlds. Um, at the time, I really thought, you know, like, oh, why should I trade with villagers? They don't do anything for me anyway and well little did I know that they have quite quite the good amount of stuff so as you can see here we're almost done with our bridge uh, bridge our, our fence here so let's just wrap this up oh man this is making me feel good I'm glad we got this done uh, and then our villagers will be safe tucked in at night oh it'll be so nice so yeah we've got our protective wall around our village, which leaves us plenty of room for growth in the future. And yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Um, I did have a tree farm going over here, but I kind of cut them all down. Uh, but as you can, oh, I didn't bring them with me, but I have like 37 saplings. Um, I did plant my jungle trees, and as you can see, they're right here. Um, I have the cicadia or acacia word, I don't even know what it's called. Um, I like how this wood looks. I just hate it when you turn it into planks. It's like got that like ugly orange color to it. I, I don't know. It just doesn't doesn't sit right with me. So we're gonna kind of. I'm if I do use that wood, I'm just gonna use the the gray stuff. I'm not gonna like turn it into planks or anything. So yeah, we got our we got our nice little protective shield around here. Like all the villagers are so darn happy, and I'll, yeah, I'll start modifying some of these houses here. Um, and I think in the next episode, what I'll do is we'll start planting tons and tons of torches. In between there, I'll mine, uh, cut down lots of trees, maybe mine some more coal. And after we put the torches down, I think we'll venture over. Was it over that way? It was over wherever there's that hill. It might be over that way too. Yeah, it's over that way. Uh, we'll go and then we'll explore and we'll see if we can find ourselves a dungeon. And keep our fingers crossed that we hopefully can find um, you know, a bucket because that would be awesome. So without further ado, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Make smart decisions. Bye-bye.